Three years ago, I decided to get these drill locks. Shoo! I didn't start my drill locks like everybody else did. No little coils, no starter locks. Nowadays, it's becoming even popular to start drill locks with hairstyles. I mean, I understand those methods, but when I wanted to start my drill lock, I wanted to start it like how I want to see it. Meaning that I have respect for all these routes that people are taking to get drill locks. And a lot of people say, your drill locks is not even real because you didn't do it the traditional way, which is, you know, to grow it off from a baby coil up to a drill locks to where it matures itself. But guess what? For those of you guys that don't know, yeah, I grew my hair up to nine months to a year before locking my hair up. Simple, right? Wrong. You see, I have the nappiest hair ever. Like, if you compare my hair to anybody's hair, I feel like I had the nappiest hair ever, especially in the back of my head. And that's the reason why I cut even the back of my hair to start a high top. So for me to say, I want a drill locks, I literally wanted it just on my high top so it doesn't be a pain growing it on the side and everything like that. So I had chopped off everything on the side, literally focused on my high top hair, high top drill locks. But at that time, of course, I was just growing out my hair. This is where it took my patience all the way to that maximum level. Like I told you, I have the nappiest hair. So waking up every day in the morning, having to comb my hair every single day, take care of it, especially when you can grow a hair an inch a month. I recently found out that my hair grows an inch a month and I tested it out on the back of my head where I'm growing my undercut growth. So this is three months. Let me show you what it's looking like. All right, guys, let's test out if this is actually three inches long, so. No way. So some of you guys don't know this, but I am actually growing out the back of my hair, looking to get drug locks with them anytime soon. Crazy, right? And if you don't believe that I can grow an inch a month, literally watch my month-to-month -month update on my undercut journey that I posted previously. <clears throat> Man, having a dreadlocks is the best thing that ever happened to me because it ended up introducing me to YouTube channel. Yes, I did get a dreadlocks before I had it on my YouTube channel. I didn't plan to get a YouTube channel at that time. Gunther the Great is the one that convinced me. Oh, what's up? And the crazy thing is, Gunther the Great is the one that gave me dreadlocks. Also, hey guys, today. We're passing the torch down to Diddy right now. So shout out to Gunther the Great. It is because of him and you guys supported me from his channel that led to this channel, this dreadlocks, my life journey. Man. And arguably, I have the best dreadlocks in the game. Let's be real. We out. I mean, let's look at it in the details. I started my locks December 26th of 2018. Right before my birthday and right after Jesus' birthday. Or what people call it, Christmas. If you were to guess my birthday from this hand, go ahead. Comment down below. But let's rewind to what I was doing right before I got my locks. Many people ask me a common question, and that is, how did you start your lock? To make it easy and simple for you guys, technically, I started my lock process days before I got locked up officially. Not locked up, locked up, but locked up, locked up. And the process that I took is this hairstyle that I picked. And I have picked a hairstyle that can help me get the right sections the right thickness of my hair so I can turn it to dreadlocks later on so the hairstyle that I picked is basically a coil method or one strand twist a lot of people of course when they have started their dreadlocks from a baby hair this is the style they also get but they don't get to see it how long it is because they already started their locks I took it the other route where I grew my hair then twisted it to a single twist then looked at what my dreadlocks would look like and it's crazy because the sectioning the thickness of my locks everything that my wife at that time my fiance had done Done was perfectly on point. I recommend you guys, anybody that's trying to get a drill locks, first grow out your locks. Of course, you have to deal with nappy hair, but at least you don't have to go through the rough stage, what a lot of people call ugly stage. By this hairstyle, I knew what my drill locks would look like. Like, literally, I can see it. And it has been a long overdue because I had wanted drill locks for about six months at that time to a year. So I was very patient, but also impatient at the same time. And that's why I feel like I have the most desired locks because I don't have a locks that's too thick or too thin. I have the most less frizz locks that I've seen on a YouTube game unless of course they have fake locks because fake locks can come with no frizz which is crazy
And Chick-fil-A is my favorite fast food place right now. I mean, where else is there? Canes? No, no competition. In and out, no competition. Whataburger, trash. McDonald's, shove it. Burger King, heck no. Chick-fil-A always keeps their standards, so this is the best birthday gift that I get that I can get for my dreadlocks because I'm benefiting it. I'm getting it a lot of protein, right? Protein. Protein is good for your hair and water. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Got me a shake also because it feels like a birthday should be around ice cream. Like, it should have some kind of ice cream. But this is how I started right here. And this is how you can also start your dreadlocks. I mean, a lot of people ask me, how did you start your dreadlocks? How do you get it this long? How do you do this? How do you do that? Man, this is the best way ever. I promise you, you will have the best lock in the game if you watch this video. Watch how I started and watch where I'm at. So, guys, today. We're passing a torch down to Diddy right now. I'm getting rid of the dreads. He's getting dreads. Like, if you got the sections out, then you're ready to You can see that a lot of them are actually are still coiled. Since I'm going to be wetting his hair, I'm going to put this towel over him. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. Here. The hair will start to stick together. You got a dreadlock, Diddy? No. Man. Yeah. Nice. I got you. Enjoy it, bro. Enjoy it. Yeah. 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 I can do that now. I can actually be a dang SoundCloud rapper now. Let me go see myself. I haven't seen myself. You hooked it up, bro. Do yeah. I look like Dune now? Yeah, kinda. Kinda? Oh, let's diet. Thank you, Father, for giving me this food, for blessing it. She's saying, pray. Amen. After getting this jar loss, I had this hunger. I felt something weird about it. Just that it didn't feel like a drug loss. Why you may ask? And it's because it was just plainly black. For some reason, just looking at my hair all just black didn't look like a dread to me. It just looked like the twist that I had when I started the dreadlock process. So something started fueling in me. I had this hunger. This thirst. For blood? No, no, no. For shake? No, not for shake either. I had this hunger and thirst for a bleach. Let's diet. Yes. The reason why you see me with these colors, the reason why all these colors happen to my hair. Uh. It is because I had this hunger yeah. and thirst for more. <laughs> so that first day I had Guthrie Gray bleach the tip of my locks, which is my most underrated hair dye ever. These dreadlocks. I'm trying to people with dreads like savages, bro. <laughs> Doesn't come with instructions. Don't use the bleach. <laughs> don't use the bleach. I promise you. December 26th of 2018, I started my thirst <laughs> for bleach, man. And it didn't stop me from there. That's just the beginning of it. So my dreadlocks started to look amazingly iconic, even from the beginning. I mean, everybody that saw my dreadlocks was like, wow, your dreadlocks is cool. Your dreadlocks is dope. How long you been growing it? And all I can say is like one day. <laughs> I started like yesterday, man. This is my hair. This is literally my hair. And I just started my dreadlock. It was hard for people to believe that I started my dreadlocks about, you know, a few days ago or months ago when they had asked me when I started it. But I didn't know what to say but tell him this whole story that I'm telling you guys. All right, y'all, that is a wrap on Diddy's hair. He looks like a brand new man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What do y'all think? Final product, you see? Oh, they haven't seen it on like that. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. So a few months went by with me just rocking my hair just like so. I think I actually went up to a year, close to a year before I had dyed my dreadlocks because the second dye came in as an inspiration from XXXTentacion RIP, which he had passed away that year, I believe. And I decided to bleach my hair half and half and it was gonna be the best hairstyle at that moment. <laughs> Dang, bro. Now I want to do intro! Intro! Oh. Intro! <laughs> <laughs>
One of the things that I'm gonna tell you guys right now is for those of you guys that are starting your dreadlocks, please don't take your dreadlocks, your journey for granted, especially when it's short like this. I really took it for granted because I thought it was annoying that it was getting on my face, that I always rubbed in my eye, like sometimes it gets in my eye, just because it was that length at that time. And I took it really for granted and I always put it in a hairstyle, on a pineapple top hairstyle, braids, and styles basically to get away from rocking it down. Now looking back at it, all these pictures I regret it so after getting the half and half I knew that I wasn't done man I really wasn't done the half and half came out really great the process was amazing I think that's what really blew up my channel because I was on the verge of hitting 10,000 subscribers at that time and I was very happy and excited to see that hairstyle really attracted a lot of people and also really helped me understand that I really love bleach I'm sorry to say this but you guys are gonna see a bunch of this bleach stuff on my hair the rest of the journey but wait up because this is what makes my dreadlocks one of the best that you have ever seen. For those of you guys that are OGs, you guys remember this intro. Intro. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 2020 hit. I was getting close to my wedding, the Verse family's wedding. If you guys have not seen that video, check out that video on the Verse family. You will not regret it. It's the dopest, cutest, happiest moment of my life. <laughs> so for that day, I had to go with the plain dreadlock, which is a black on black. And so I dyed my hair back to black all the way through. And it came out pretty nice. I had put jewelry on my hair that represented a little bit of where I'm from. And the rest of the swag and drip just came from your boy. You know, my wife looks stunning. After the wedding passed, I started scratching my face like a crackhead. Because I had seen this hairstyle that I was like, oh my god. I have to get this color. As y'all can see, I wasn't going to stop bleaching my hair. And my whole journey was around really dyeing, bleaching, turning my hair to different colors, experiencing the growth through it. That was bad. Every hair color that I've had, every dye that I've had, marks a milestone in my journey. And that's why I really don't regret it at all. For many of you do regret your hair dye or hair bleach. That was bad. <coughs> Holding away from face. <coughs> the powder got in my mouth. God dang, boy. <coughs> Holding away from face. Chris Wood's death. I mean, let's be realistic. You don't know how to bleach your hair. You just did it because you saw somebody on YouTube do it. And you thought you can do the same thing to your hair, but you didn't know how skinny your hair might've been, how thick it might've been. Or he saw a professional that really didn't know what they're doing and messed up your dreadlocks. And I've heard so many stories around there. But for me, it was different, man. I went and got this hair color that was very inspirational and very likely one of the best hair dye I've had. And that is the blue. Why? 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 It represented X's blue hairstyle, my own twist to it, and really it became my wife's even favorite color. That by far was the best one that she said I've had. And I feel like it's because she has something to do with it. Yes, she has helped me get the hair dye. No. <laughs> I bleached his hair. I <laughs> oh my oh. god. You okay, babes? Um. Not time for you to sleep. Ow! Yeah. I'm gonna beat you up. I'm not, I don't have that much strength. Guy, there. This happened around the month of June of 2020. This marks another milestone of my dreadlock growth and really in my relationship with my wife also. Because I remember just moving into our own apartment, you know, paying the bills, taking care of the house, being in the man of the house, you know, being a grown man. I really enjoyed this hairstyle because I was able to take a lot of pictures with it, get creative with it, and have captured so many cool hairstyles with this locks. This has been also a request that I've had from you guys when I hit 20,000 subscriber milestone. And this is why it means so much to me to have, you know, a different diet to my hair or it could be a different style to just mark my accomplishments, milestone and memories that I'm creating with my family. Dreadlocks mean so much to me than just hair. Dreadlock in itself means a lot to me. A lot of people say, you know, it's a spiritual journey for them. It's a character development to show them, you know, they can be patient and different things like that. And I definitely agree with those things, especially with being patient and testing out your disciplines. However, for me, it was different. It was quite different. It meant a lot to me because it led me to being my own self-employed. This journey meant to me of knowing you guys, knowing other YouTubers, other content creators that I really admire and I appreciate. It created 
and income for my family. It led me to starting a video company where I produce cool videos for other brands and products. All because I started this dreadlock. And for those of you guys that are on the verge of starting a channel or a started journey, you will not appreciate the place you are at right now till later on you look back at what it has brought in your life. So start it. Don't feel hesitant about it because I did feel the same way. But it led me to where I'm at today. And I kept that hairstyle to the end of the year to where Christmas came and I dyed my hair back to black. I miss the black color. I mean, look at it. It's the most underrated color that I've had because I've really not rocked black color for a while. I wanted to keep it that way, but the itching and the scratching, the hunger and thirst started to fill me up again. Up until April of 2021, where I had bleached my hair again to get in there ready for a new hairstyle. This new hairstyle was picked also by you guys. I had given you guys options and a lot of you guys wanted to see my hair like X. I feel like a lot of you guys loved X so much. So I gave you guys the option in the community page, what color do you want me to get for my dreadlocks when I hit 30,000 subscribers? And top vote, yep, you guessed it, it was silver. I got silver dreadlocks June 2021. It's crazy because I had the blue one June at 2020. So that's literally a year apart and a lot of people think I do that every single month but really this is a about a year of, of growth and taking care of my hair that led me to this point. But guess what? On my journey of getting the silver, it was not easy at all. Trust me, it's, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do because I bleached my hair twice and I was gonna go even for the third one because I had seen that you have to have a platinum blonde bleach before going to silver. And I did do just that, but the silver that I bought did not mix well with my hair. It didn't look like a silver color. It really did not stand out. So I went with a non-permanent hair dye or some people call it wax. It's just really a muddy texture silver dye that you apply to your hair and wash it whenever you want to. Almost like, you know, one of those sprays that you buy. But this one was a little thicker, heavier, and, and I really justified it because it really made it look like the color that I wanted and that was a actual silver. I rocked this for a few months. I really didn't like the heaviness of my hair, the thickness that I brought, the muddiness. I really didn't like the flakiness also because I was rocking the black suit to church. I usually wear formal clothes so when I go to church I start seeing a lot of flakes on my jacket. I really didn't appreciate that aspect of it. But the hair color loved it so i went to rocking just the bleach on my hair that i had because i had washed out the silver for about a few months till i started a new channel called pineapple world pineapple world is where your journey matters is where we represent everything about your hair journey about you about why you grow your hair and we do different interviews with different people and if something that you want to get interviewed or featured in please go follow that channel and comment down below but with the inspiration of pineapple world i turned my hair into a green yellowish vibe color and really represent a pineapple world. I only did that for that. Action and they want to see your reaction also to my new hair. Oh shoot, your boy like what are your thoughts? The one You're hair. looking like a delicious lime. Delicious lime? Oh yeah you eat lime for living. I just wanna squeeze some juice out of those and put it on my taco. That won't sound right. And you and you <laughs> remind me of Joker. <laughs> he has green hair. <laughs> And the green really came out to look like the blueish vibe that I had, how darker it looked. The blue looked like a dark blue also. And the green had that feel to it also. After getting the green in August of 2021, I had rocked it for a while till it lost its own mother loving mind. It literally started to change its color back to bleach again. And the thing about every bleach and dye that I've used, especially the dyes, is they all semi dyes. So through time, they come out. If I wash them, they come out even more. And so it started to look like a faded green color and a lot of people kept on saying is that weed in your hair yeah it's funny bro but not that funny okay chill out dog you're not that funny as christmas was approaching one of my wife's favorite favorite thing in this whole wide world is christmas welcome to whoville where are you christmas why can't i find you why have you Originally, I had wanted to get a Gucci color, which represented those two colors that Christmas really represented. It's kind of cool. What's the inspiration behind this X? I think it's X because he's the first one that I see this hairstyle to have a blue. 
-hmm. And then from blue, he went to platinum. Like platinum. That was pretty clean. Platinum, silver, or something like that. In the future, I think I'm thinking about different colors and stuff like that, inspired by Gucci uh, hair color. A Gucci hair color. A Gucci hair color. So I ended up the end of November to change my color to Gucci hair color, which a lot of y'all like to clown me and say Christmas color. Uh, yeah, it is. It's both, okay? Chill out. And I really dig this color. I mean, it stood out a lot. When I did two strand twist recently, it looked amazing. But this is my journey. Three years, accomplishment, milestone, journey. And now we about to hit 2022. 2022 will bring a lot of different things. Make sure you guys are subscribed because you guys will be blown away by 2022. It's gonna be our best year yet. And our goal is, of course, to hit 100K. And we will hit 100K. I mean, we at like 35 now, which is not bad. See, after rocking this bleach color with different hairstyles, with different things, one thing I noticed about my dreadlock is I don't like it on my face, man. I don't know, for some reason, especially when I'm eating a chicken sandwich, a magnificent chicken sandwich. I don't want it in my face. Not because it didn't matter that I had dreadlocks, but because I didn't want it in my food, man. It's that simple. A lot of people ask me, why don't you lock, rock your dreadlocks on your, like, why don't you rock your dreadlocks down or anything like that? And then my answer was, because I don't want it in my face. And that's the biggest mistake really I made in my entire dreadlock career, is taking my short dreadlocks for granted. 